All right, Canelo Yildrim. Now, before we get into the video, let's go back to mo one of my last, I don't know, a few videos I made about Canelo and listen to what I had to say about what I thought was going to happen and, and you know, the fact that this guy didn't deserve to be in the ring with Canelo on the biggest stage in boxing, a shot at the WBC, coming off a loss, uh, his opponents nearly 60 losses combined. Let's have a listen and I'll be back. All right, guys, this is franchise sanctioning body corruption at its finest, okay? What in the hell has this guy done to deserve a crack at the WBC? Look at his last three fights, nearly 50 losses combined. If you add number four, nearly 60 losses combined. What has this dude done to deserve a career high payday, a shot at Canelo Alvarez on the biggest stage in boxing, a crack at the WBC, coming off of a loss, okay? He got knocked out, knocked down, then knocked out in round three by Eubanks. The dude is literally, literally coming off of a loss, okay? Debuted in 2014. I mean, what is going going on here I mean like this is like in your face corruption you know shut up and pay for it basically boxing fans you know because Canelo he's a big star it's kind of like going to see a movie right and you only go to see the movie because you know there's some big actor in it and that's the only reason you go see them. the movie can completely suck right but you're gonna pay for it because he's a big star that well 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 looks like your old buddy counterpunch got it right again now go back listen to my prediction for Yildrim Canelo I said it, it, well, it's not going four or five rounds that was my official prediction Round three, you know, dude gets dropped, and then they stop the fight. Big fucking surprise, okay? Look, this is like an example of an establishment elite fighter doing whatever the fuck they want to do uh, and getting paid millions of dollars to do so. Now, notice how quickly they jumped on that Billy Joe Saunders fight right there. Uh, they did that because they knew this was a garbage fight and it shouldn't have happened. In fact, in my prediction video, I just listened to it. I said, it's going to look a lot like Angulo, you know, a human punching bag. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, you know, so guys, I don't get it. Why isn't this dude fighting top level opponents? You know, now, now we're getting Billy Joe Saunders, but remember, Billy Joe's been out of the ring a long time. And I get it. It was ordered. It was a mandatory. Okay, I get it. Okay. Uh, but, you know, look, just look at the last few fights, guys. I mean, come on. You got Smith. Complete. Just There was no need for that. Complete garbage fight. Uh, Kovalev. That was a, a dive. We all know that. Uh, Jacobs. You know, couldn't bust a grape. Uh, <laughs> just ask him. What's his name? Uh, the Latin Snake, right? Uh, you know, you, you see it there. But... Um, I don't know, guys. You know, this is kind of why I've shied away from boxing. Um, there's, there's just no need for this. I mean, fight a top guy. And again, I understand. I know what you're going to say. Oh, he's fighting Billy Joe Saunders, bruh. Well, he should have did that a year ago. You know, we shouldn't have shouldn't have had Colin Smith. Shouldn't have had Kovalev. Shouldn't have had Yildrim. None of that. And by the way, I made the video talking about the WBC. They knew exactly what they were doing when they made Yildrim the mandatory. They knew exactly what they were doing. It was a cash grab. You know, so Canelo thanks you. He's going to buy a new mansion now. You know, you guys are just, I mean, you're just pay pigs. That's what you Canelo fans are. Pay pigs. It's crazy. When are you going to learn? All right. Well, in closing, what do I say? I don't know what I've already told you. It was it, the fight never should have happened. Uh, Canelo needs to be fighting, you know, much better opposition here. He needs to be challenging himself. He's already proven he's a good boxer. He's already proven, you know, he can knock out gatekeepers and, you know, people, uh, you know, in, in divisions that, you know, sell tickets, whatever. You know, now we need to see Canelo fight the best in the division. Okay, I don't care what, what weight class we're talking, middleweight, super middleweight, uh, light heavyweight, whatever. Come up with another freaking catch weight, whatever you need to do. But we need a Charlo. We need a Benavitez, a Billy Joe Saunders. It's a great fight. But again, you know, I hate to burst your bubble here, but I don't like it because Billy Joe's been out a long time, you know. Uh, you know, looking chubby, not very disciplined, you know. So, but we'll get in, we'll get into that later. You know, I need to uh, keep a close eye on old Billy Joe Saunders. You know, we're gonna see how serious he takes this because it is a big opportunity, and we'll see, we'll see what happens. But uh, you know, again, Canelo caught Billy Joe Saunders at the the exact right time, very inactive, very out of shape, and we'll see what happens.